character you playing? My name is Zacharias, and I'm playing Calvin. Calvin what? Ace. Calvin Ace. Pharaoh and Eric. How long have you been acting in front of Russia? About two years. About two years. What made you want to get into acting? What was your like? No, I want to do this. Um, for me, I've always been a very expressive person and uh, I've been very creative. Right. And most of my life, I was in the sports, so that's where like my competitive nature would show. But uh, I feel like acting is a competitive game or competitive like genre, right? And right? just the film world. So I was like, you know, this is something I've been called to do. <laughs> what is your like your biggest goal as far as acting goes? Like, where, where do you see yourself in the next year or two, in our uh, next two to five years? Guys, we gotta cut this, man. My it's biggest goal show. with it is have my own show. My own show. I directed, wrote, produced, act. For sure. Child is gonna be in all type shit. George Bill. <laughs> Today on Access Entertainment, we were behind the scenes of Farrell and Eric's short skit called Clear and Present Danger. Let's take a look. Here's a clip. This is just a conversation. Stay subtle, all right? Subtle? There is no subtle. They're terrorists. 27 confirmed deaths. And let's not forget an explosion at the Baltimore police station. There's got to be another play. There is no other play. They're cop killers. What else do you want? Hey, hey, don't go in there and do something you're going to regret. Man, don't punch your luck. Today on Access Entertainment, we were behind the scenes of Farrell and Eric's short skit called Clear and Present Danger. Let's take a look. Here's a clip. Jasmine, um, how long have you been uh, acting? Oh, I've been acting for a long time, since I was a kid. But I really started doing the real acting stuff within the last two years. What makes you want to get into acting? Um, I feel like I've always had the personality for it. My mom's always told me I had the personality, and then my fiancé just kind of pushed me to get into it, and it just brightened me up even more. <laughs> That's dope. You guys don't even know what's coming to business. This is dope. This is, new, this is pretty much a take on Bonnie and Clyde as terrorists. So, right. You guys see it. You guys can get it. Um. So, so, so what's your goal for the for for, for this skit? Um. Are you planning on like doing more, or are you planning on like expanding into a feature, or it's expanding into a feature, but mainly trying to get the attentions of investors and producers to basically fund this, and we make it bigger than what it is. I'm purposely doing five pages let's because see, it makes see, more see, attention getters. So I hope you guys can understand. Sorry. Bro. Oh, hold on. Let's yeah. see. Let's so see. I hope you guys can. Yeah. So for. Today on Access Entertainment, we were behind the scenes of Farrell and Eric's short skit called Clear and Present Danger. Let's take a look. Here's a clip. That's, that. That's me. That's me. So, um, how long have you been uh, acting? I've been acting, let's see, my first role was in Fruitvale Station. So, that's 2011, 2012. So, about like uh, 10, 11 years. Wow. Yeah, I'm about to be a teenager in this acting thing. What What role were you in, 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 in the Fruitvale Station? Oh, uh, man. I was. Um, the name, my, the character's role, it was, it was like featured teenager, angry teenager. It was something, something teenager. I'm about to check that out. Yeah, you, you, I only got like a couple seconds character, but my name is in the credits. And you know what I'm saying? My name is in the credits. So yeah. That's, yeah. And um, how long have you been, um, so as far as your, your, your comedy, you know what you've been, um, how long have been, how long have been doing comedy? Comedy game. Been doing comedy for seven years, man. Been doing them all around Sacramento, Bay Area. Just got back from L.A. a couple of weeks ago out there networking with some uh, some pretty famous comedians and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. shit, yeah, man. You can catch me how did that feel? And by the way, how did it feel been to be able to do your thing and travel and, like, um, how does that make you feel? Make me feel good, man. Why not, man? We out here living the dream. Not chasing the dream, but living the dream. You That's know what I'm saying? saying? It's all about the journey and not the destination. Um, so for those who, who, who are trying to be like you, who, who want to be acting and comedian, like, you know, what kind of things you want to say to them? I'll say, don't be like me. Be like yourself. Be you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, what you want to do. If you want to do comedy, just get out there, write some jokes. 
hit up in Mike if you want to do acting. Start off taking some classes and then just take it from there. What's your long term? What's like your big star, your big goal, and as far as your career goes? Uh, shit, man. Right now, just uh, I want to see the funny business, uh, funny business, business grow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep pushing this comedy thing. Hopefully, get a couple movies off the ground and um, yeah, be big, big time, big, big, big time. <laughs> Today on Access Entertainment, we were behind the scenes of Farrell and Eric's short skit called Clarity Present Danger. Let's take a look. Here's right again. You know, for a cop like I was hoping you said that. 